President Bola Ahmed Tinubu says his administration is working tirelessly to diversify the economy from the over-reliance on production of fossil fuel, stressing that the oil and gas industry has for long been the life wire of the nation's economy. The president made this known at a two-day retreat for members of the Green Chamber in Abuja on Tuesday. The president, who was represented by his chief of staff, Femi Bajabia Mila, says the administration is also determined to maximize revenue potential from critical sectors, adding that for this reason, the administration is pushing policies to attract investment in the oil and gas sector as well. He says his administration signed an executive order to unlock about $10 billion in fresh investments in the sector, and this will happen through fiscal incentives for non-associated gas NAG, midstream and deep water oil and gas developments. The oil and gas industry has long been the lifeblood of our national economy. This administration is working tirelessly to change this and diversify our economy from over-reliance on the production of fossil fuels. However, we are also determined to maximize revenue potential from this critical industry. For this reason, Mr. President says that we are pushing policies to attract investment in the oil and gas sector. He wants me to remind you that recently, he signed an executive order to unlock about $10 billion in fresh investments in the sector. This will happen through fiscal incentives for non-associated gas midstream and deep water oil and gas developments. Earlier in his remarks, the Speaker of House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, decried Nigeria's inefficiency in collecting value-added tax, VAT, which he says is the lowest among its African peers, which he blamed on the inefficiencies in the nation's tax system. He therefore expressed the readiness of the Tenth House to aid the economic policies and programs of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration. In 2021, the Federal Illa Revenue Service introduced a tax administration solution called Tax Pro Max for ease of tax compliance. Several similar efforts have been attempted in the past. For instance, in 2014, FIRS attempted automating tax collection with the integrated tax administration system, ITAS, which was to be implemented on a tailored solution known as, known as the standard integrated government tax administration system, SIGITAS. These attempts have not been successful, showing that the power to fully digitalizing tax administration is proud to challenges. On his part, the Minister of State for the FCT, Miriam Ma Mahmoud, says the country tax system must evolve to reflect the dynamic nature of the economy and the realities of the 21st century by simplifying tax procedures, closing loopholes and enhancing revenue generation, promote investment and spur economic growth in the country. Its passage, we have led the groundwork for a more transparent, efficient and competitive petroleum industry. This legislation opens the door to greater investments, innovations, and job creation. However, it is true impact will be realized through effective implementation. As representative of the people, it is incumbent upon us to ensure that the provision of these acts are translated into tangible benefits for all Nigerians. We must work tirelessly to foster an enabling environment for investment, promote local content participation and uphold the highest standards of governance and accountability in the petroleum industry.